what's up everybody so it's been three years since I got in my 2015 Chevrolet Corvette and I gotta say I got no regrets I love this car such an awesome car when I first bought it my intention was just to drive it every now and then and uh, I have never driven this car until I bought it so I I really didn't know what to expect at first I just knew that the car looked awesome and I bought it based on the looks on the specs based on the performance but I just love this car that I daily drive it I now got 18,000 miles on it and I haven't had any issues with it I did have a a glitch where the instrument cluster just went black and they started acting crazy but it just only did it just did that one time it did have one recall for a software update because it had a recall on the airbags but that was it now that my car is three years old that also means my bumper to bumper warranty has run out so I don't have a bumper to bumper warranty no more but I still have my five year 100,000 mile powertrain warranty so that covers the engine the transmission so that's that's the biggest expense on a vehicle would be if you had to repair the engine or transmission so I still got that coverage I had initially thought whether I would buy extended warranty but the car has been so good no issues I don't see the need for me to spend money on extended warranty I love the, the different driving modes that it has. The track mode, weather mode, because I do drive this car in the rain. The economy mode is also really cool because I'm able to get up to 35 miles to the gallon. I got it on seventh gear and as you can see, the RPMs are 11, maybe 1200 RPMs. My average fuel economy is 35 miles to the gallon and up, uh, uh, just about covered 20 miles. So it's it's really good on fuel. 30 miles to the gallon is easy. So it'll do that without breaking a sweat. No big deal to get 30 miles to the gallon on a car that gets 0 to 60 in 4 seconds. So that's definitely it's like the best of both worlds you get a great performance and you get great fuel economy it's fixing to be spring so I'll be taking the top down driving it like that more often just another great feature that it has it's uh, the removal top the top weighs like 16 pounds so it's really easy to remove it and put it in the trunk it only takes a couple seconds to do it because uh, my first Corvette was a 93 model and on that one it had bolts where I had to unscrew and you know that took several minutes but on something like this they just made it so practical the manual transmission is another feature that I really like just because I feel more in control of the shifts how the car performs also the the rev match feature is really awesome because um, I'm able to shift instantly the shifts are precise the Maserati that I bought is uh, automatic but to be honest I prefer the manual transmissions just because of uh, me being a car enthusiast I just prefer being more in control of the shifts I remember the first day I went and picked up this car I had been dreaming about this car since it was first released in 2013 but I waited one year for the prices to kind of come down a little bit as far as discounts and uh, as well as me save up a little more money and I was able to get it so the day I picked it up I mean I just had a smile going all the way up to my ears uh, pretty awesome day 
it was my first YouTube video as well so it's my I guess it's a memorable moment my first Corvette was a 93 model I bought that when I was 20 years old it was my first car I ended up selling it a year later just because I had to make I had to I needed the money so I just had to sell it and after I sold it I, I always wanted a Corvette I would see them pass by and I would always see myself driving one of them so when I was 25 is when I picked this one up I had wanted the co6 but me being 25 at the time I just couldn't afford it due to the insurance due to being a more expensive car maintenance just all those factors associated with, uh, with the co6 so this car I pretty much had it stock I just did a couple things when I first got it I painted the wheels with plastic dip at 17,000 miles I had to get my front tires replaced so I ended up peeling the plastic dip the plastic dip off I also wrapped the removable top so it could look uh, carbon fiber like some of the co6 but this is such an awesome car I definitely I, I think I'll always have a Corvette no matter no matter what I think it's just after having my first one and getting rid of it I just always missed it in the future if I ever get something as an exotic um, I would really like a McLaren a Lamborghini or a Ferrari one day but I think I'll always as long as I have the means I think I'll always have a Corvette anyways thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos